is true. I have learned that over 50 years of speaking to people around the world, that the one thing that people, generally speaking, do not want, because people will always support what they want. They will not support what they don't want. The one thing people will not support ever is the truth and the light. You don't want to hear the truth about you. So go to the baseball game and the, and the football games and all your silly alcohol and your parties and bring your beer and your, and your pretzels and because now everybody's like you. You know, we're a democracy. Everybody's like you. You, you're, you're, you're ignorant, ill-informed, unread, dim-witted, religious goofball. Well, so is everybody else. So you fit in just fine. Everybody loves you. Unless, of course, you were into the truth and the light. And in that case, nobody wants to hear you. They're not inviting you to any parties. They don't want to hear from anything about you. They don't want to hear this truth and the light. The people always love lies. They are never going to accept the truth and the light. Why? It's because if you were sound asleep and you were very tired and you've been sound asleep and someone slipped into your bedroom at, at 3 o'clock in the morning and flipped on a 600-watt bulb next to your bed, your immediate normal human reaction would be to jump quickly and hide your eyes. Why? Well, because it, first of all, scared the hell out of you. <laughs> But it also hurt your eyes, and you turn away from it and, uh, and cover your eyes because it hurt, hurts your eyes. That's a normal, natural reaction yep. when you're confronted with the truth in the light. So therefore, anyone who is extremely bright, that's a word we use in relation to light, if someone's really bright, intellectually, spiritually very bright, and they're trying to enlighten you, and you've been in the dark all your life. You don't know what's going on. You never read nothing. You don't know nothing. You don't understand nothing. You got nothing. And someone comes into your life who is intellectually or spiritually enlightened, and they're like a 600 watt bulb going off in your face. You've never heard any of this. So the first thing you do when you hear someone who's in the truth and the light, or giving you the truth and the light, you turn your head and got and cover your eyes. Because this guy's brilliant. And I've been in the dark all my life, and I don't understand what he's talking about. All I know is the bull, the BS I've been told all my life, and I got a religion. I love the Lord Jesus, and I drink a lot. And, hallelujah. Yeah, and hallelujah, and pass, the, and pass the, the booze. And so once you understand all of that, it's, it just means you're a fool. You've been deceived. You're in the dark. And you cannot deal with the light and the truth. Jesus said, I am the truth and the light. No man comes to the Father unless he comes through me. Obviously, if you want to actually communicate with the divine principle in heaven called God, I don't know if you're brave enough to do that, but if you actually want to communicate with God, it would be better if you just stay in your little silly-ass religion because everybody loves you, and you love everybody, and everybody feels good about it, everything. Amen. But if you really want to contact the Spirit in the universe, then don't even come to that great divine presence, the great Spirit in the universe, with your silly-ass religion. Because if there is a God out there, obviously, if you understand how big the universe really is, and if there is a divine presence in the universe that has created all things in your mind, you're calling it God. Well, if there is a God, then you've got to figure he's going to be a lot smarter than you. And he knows your bullshit from a long time ago. Don't try and communicate with that God, with your silly-ass religion, with your beer-drinking, silly-ass routine that you're dancing around the stage and singing hymns and falling all over yourself and blessing everybody with, with incense and spreading water in people and giving all that silly bullshit. Don't think you're going to go to the divine presence in the universe that we call God with your silly-ass religion. It ain't going to fly. You're going to talk to God. You better go clean. Because if there is a God out there, and that God is in the position of power that you say he is, then your silly-ass routine ain't going to fly. Because he already knows what you are. 
So if you want to go to God, you better come back. You better go back and do some homework. If you want to talk to God, the best way you can do it in your silly ass religion is just go to your church and you'll feel much better. Go to your church and talk to God and dance around the stage and sing hymns and light candles, do all that good stuff, and you feel great. But you're not even getting close to the divine one. No, I'm going to go to God and I want to talk to the Lord God. And I want to, Are you kidding? With your hell, with your background, are you going to go to God? Your silly-ass religion is one of the silliest religions on the face of the earth, and you're going to go talk to God. Come on. So you better look at yourself in the real light and see what the real truth is before you go talking to God. So nobody comes to God unless he goes through the truth and the light. So if you're going to go to God with your silly-ass religion, stay home. It ain't going to fly.